Hey guys, Jennifer Torado here. So today I will be discussing elements. So normally there is four elements, which is air, fire, earth, and water. And I will be discussing today the element air. So I do want to inform you guys there is changes once again happening in my life. So it looks like the schedule is going to be um, Saturdays and Sundays. I will be free during the week. I will not be able to be doing my videos like I was starting to do, which was on Tuesday. And have them up pretty much by Wednesday, Tuesday or Thursday pretty much was the whole schedule thing that was going on. As of now, I will have my videos shot on Saturdays or Sundays, and I should have them up by the week, um, whatever day of the week, accordingly. Um, so just so you guys will know um, about that, um, and you guys will be updated in regards to that. But in the meantime, I look forward to posting a video every single week um, as of now, and if there is any changes, I will let you guys know. I want to say thank you so much for those of you that have been watching the videos, that have been supporting me and giving me likes. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, you guys are welcome to comment as well, just so you guys will know. And thank you guys so much for your support, those of you that are watching and those of you that have given me likes. I am so appreciative on that. So I will be discussing the four elements, which is air, fire, earth. And water I will be doing a video of each of them um, individually so a total of four videos as of now and I will keep you guys up to date on that as of now I will be talking about the air element so the air element and from there on as of next week I will go ahead and move on to the next video and hopefully you guys will stay tuned to that as well breathing is part of our existence Without air, we will not be able to breathe. So we need the air element in our lives. For those of you born under the air element sign, which is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. We are all in the same family group. The air element people are very analytical. They love probing and they love analyzing things that they love digging into whatever it is the topic they have to know the reason why for everything they love probing and investigating things and just kind of knowing what it is behind everything like let's say as an example they could be great scientists to be honest because they're those kind of people that love exploring their knowledge and they're like this open book. Like they thirst for knowledge. They love learning new things. That's why like air elements are so smart. They're known to be very intelligent people and very smart human beings. The air elements love learning so much that they enjoy even if you start teaching them something new. It's like every new situation, if it involves the learning or doing something new to better their knowledge and to fulfill their thirst for knowing new things and learning, if you're teaching them, they will enjoy it. That's why they're very compatible with one another because they run in the same family group and their thirst for knowing new things and exploring new things and just kind of learning each day whatever it is they enjoy doing they're known to be teachers lawyers they're really good at teaching counseling being psychologists being lawyers attorneys paralegals this runs in their knowledge field because Air element people are very smart thinkers. They abstract reasons and knowing is their way to go. They know so much because they have so much knowledge because they're just so highly intelligent. The air element is known to be social, and highly intellectual, and very friendly people. 
these humans make excellent communicators because they love communicating with others and knowing and exploring new things. Verbally is the way to go. They love communicating to the point that they just thirst their knowledge into communicating on what they're interested in and they want to know more in regards to that. Okay guys, so I hope this video helps and gives you an idea of what the air element means and what it stands for. It's just a basic idea of what the air element represents, kind of like the basic idea. If you guys are interested to know on what the next element will be, stay tuned next week for the next video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Bye!